where I used to uh, work is the Airman's Barracks. There goes a B-1 bomber. Got it. In. Huh. Well, they're working on them. I could have come the other way. See, now I had to walk from the third barracks over to the weather station, unless I happen to be getting a ride. This is new too. That wasn't there, it was just an open field. And these railroad tracks. I don't even think that, that road was there. stairs to get up there, huh? See that tower there that used to have a radar thing in there? A little white bubble was on top of it. God, did this change. Fire station still there. Did they have the 
Yeah, okay, 517, 516, back to wherever. I was going to ask if they had the 130s here and there. Yeah, they had C-130s. Yeah, oh, we still do. Two squadrons of them still. Uh, video screens now. I think back here they used to have uh, the this radar. Is, this is, well, the, the, when I got here, the radar was here. This is the biggest change. This is the new Doppler radar that we have now. That's, uh, you know, just the information we can get off of this. I mean, you've got full color scopes as opposed to just the old black and purple and green, you know, try to figure out what the blobs really were kind of stuff. I mean, of course, there's nothing out there today because there's no clouds in the sky. I mean, that's yeah. just all clear air, ground clutter kind of thing, so. Yeah, that was the one thing I remembered that was bad about observing at night because if it was a clear sky, you had to try and stay awake because there was nothing to do oh, except yeah. once an hour. Oh, except yeah. once an hour. AC-135 tanker was used for refueling planes in the air. And this is the B-52. This is a C-130 Hercules. Uh, when I was stationed here, they used to do a lot of touch-and-go landings. At that time, they were all uh, painted with camouflage. 